I am Gen Champion. And where are you from? I am currently living in Los Angeles, but I would say I'm from Seattle. And when did you start making music? Um, probably as a teenager. I've played music since I was a little kid, but probably I was like a teenager, like, I'm going to write some songs. <laughs> what instruments did you start out with? Uh, drums a little bit and the trumpet. So who did you listen to growing up? Uh, well, early growing up, like middle school was a George Michael and Madonna probably were my big, but then they became like closet faves in high school. I was like, people can't know I listened to Madonna. So, but it was like Jane's Addiction, <laughs> like The Cure. I was kind of a goth kid. So how did you actually get started? Um, I was just like, had some friends that played music or played like guitar or whatever. And they were like, hey, can you play this too? And then it was like, all of a sudden we were in a band together. We're like, I guess we're in a band now. Play some songs together. <laughs> And when did you decide that this is what you were going to do? Uh, probably recently. <laughs> I feel like it's always, as much as like I've toured and I've made albums, I've always been like, should I like go to school? Or like, I should really have a real thing. But like a couple years ago, I was like, I guess I'm just going to do music now. Which is a nice feeling, I guess. When do you feel you got your first break? My first break? Oh, I mean... Probably just like being able to like play a show in some sense. Like someone would let me get up in front of people and play music. That almost feels like that's a like a break, I guess. Does your name changing play a role in how your music evolves? Um, that's a good question. I mean, it it doesn't. I don't think it's the cause of my name changing, but I imagine somewhere psychologically it must play a part. So tell me a bit about your debut LP as Gen Champion. Uh, it's kind of a record meant to be danced to, or like even like chair dancing or bed dancing on the bus dancing, uh, I think being a person that I was like, I love dancing, I'm not, I don't consider myself a dancer, but I was like, I gotta make a record. I, it was just like, I'm like, I wanna have fun making this record because you never know when you're making a record, like what's gonna happen to it. And I was like, this, I've never really explored, I explored it a little bit, but I was like, oh, maybe I'll, just, and I just dove in, I guess, and I was like, I'm gonna use all these synthesizers and some drum tracks, and luckily I had help from a producer to like, because I was like, I don't know how to do this very well. I got, I can like make a beat on a drum machine, but as making it cooler, that's when a producer really comes in. <laughs> but I feel like it goes from super fun dance record and then I think by the end you're like probably crying because it's still sad. <laughs> so um, what would you say the big difference is between you now versus uh, under the, the name S? Um, I guess I guess like a more, it's like definitely a more hi-fi sound. And like, I think I, I worked really hard to uh, maybe, I don't know how to put this, like polish up a song more than I ever have. Like S was like definitely curated. Those songs were like very curated, but it'd kind of be like, that's good. That's awesome. <laughs> now it's kind of like, what can make it cooler? <laughs> what are some things that are important to you that you like to address through your music? 
Um, I guess feelings, you know, I think being able to talk about being like sad or dealing with like failure, um, I think how it is to be a person in the world and it's hard and you struggle, but like that's part of it, like that's the deal. It's like kind of like, not that we necessarily sign up for it, you're just here and you're like, here's the deal. There's a lot of failure, there's a lot of struggling. Uh, I, I guess to kind of be like, I feel it too. <laughs> Hopefully to bring like some solidarity to other folks in the same situation maybe. Who would you most like to collaborate with and why? Oh, interesting question. I feel like I probably thought about this all the time. I'm like, ooh, I'd write with that person. <laughs> um, oh, that's interesting. Now that it's going to be like on a in an interview, it's like, oh, I better be legit. <laughs> um, I, I, what comes to mind off the top of my head is Cardi B, just because... I have really enjoyed her album and trap music is something that like I don't I don't know about very much like I don't haven't taken it apart and like tried to figure out how it's done so it would be such an interesting project to things that interest me like that I'm always like oh how do you do that and she just seems like a wonderful person to like hang out with <laughs> So what are your interests and passions outside of music? Um, I, like I said, love dancing. My goal this year is to learn how to dance. <laughs> like, every, for real. Uh, I have two dogs. They're kind of... They're great. I... I enjoy lots of art, I think. Just like being in the arts, being around people who do art and looking at art and seeing what other people are making and talking to other people about making stuff. Mostly like being around those types of folks. <laughs> What's your favorite book, film, and music right now? Um, book? I gotta say, I don't know. I it's a, I know it's a real faux pas, but it's been a while since I picked up a book. Uh, I definitely watch a lot of television. I watch a lot of movies. What do you say, book, TV, film? Book. Film, music. Music. TV also. Um, Right when you have to think of it, it's all going out of your brain. Um, <laughs> TV, I gotta say, I don't know. I watch so much TV. I like a lot of it. I did just watch the show Barry, starring that guy from Saturday Night Live that I can't remember his name, um, which I thought was so weird for, it was just, it's not like I haven't seen, you haven't seen like the psychopath being, trying to be a person, but it was, I said by the end of it, I was like, this is, I didn't expect it to go this way. <laughs> Which I always like, my favorite thing about anything, music, book, art, is like when I haven't seen it before, when I'm like, I have not heard this song before. I have not watched this movie before, because I feel like so many times I'm watching a movie, and I'm like, I've seen this like 10 times, the same story. Uh, which was, I did see a movie recently where I like, I haven't seen that before. Now I can't remember what it is. <laughs> but I just saw the Whitney documentary, which, ugh, it was certainly like, you could tell some parts were missing, but it was still, I cried. It was like the whole thing. <laughs> and how about music? Music. I am really into outrun music right now. It's like kind of this 80s synthy, mostly instrumental. Uh, I think it stems from this video game from the 80s that had this kind of like synth soundtrack. But I 
found this song that I really liked. And then I like was like, well, I gotta look it up. I gotta figure out this artist. And then I dove into this whole pool of like, this is a genre. There are other bands doing this. Like, and it felt like when I was a teenager, when I would discover something that was like, what is this? That's how, and I think having that, I haven't had that feeling about music in a while. So it was like cool to find this like weird genre of music that I didn't know about that. It's all these like smaller artists making this weird synth. <laughs> what are some of the band names? Um, there's a band called My Miami Nights 1984. That's probably my favorite one. They're probably one of the more popular <laughs> artists. Uh, that there's a band College, who you might know from having a song on the Drive soundtrack that was a popular movie. Also, I enjoyed that movie. Um, also, the guy that does the soundtrack to the guy that makes those movies. Drive, what else did he do? I can't pronounce his name. But Cliff Martinez does some scoring, who I think is a quite amazing at it. Ultimately, I wish I could do that kind of thing, do some scoring. So what's next? I, I am hoping to just do some writing with some folks. Like my hope is like people hear this album and they're like, hey, do you want to write a song together? <laughs> I think just trying to like learn as much as I can. I'd love to do production. Like I learned a lot making this record on the production side and I was like, this is so cool. I am playing a couple shows um, and making some videos, which I also really enjoy, but I performing isn't my strong suit. It's a lot of work for me to perform. <laughs> it's like not a natural thing for me. So I'll take the easy road and keep writing. 